Okay, so this is the shunt motor. We'll bump this guy. We now have positive to F1, positive to A1. And it's going in a clockwise direction. If I want to get this guy to go in the opposite direction, all we have to do is just switch our A1 and A2 for our armature. And it goes in the opposite direction. Okay, I can do that. So I can switch my armature or I can switch my shunt. By switching my shunt, I should go counterclockwise as well. Beautiful. So, in order to change the direction rotation of a shunt motor, I can change either the armature or the shunt field polarity. Convention is to change the armature though. Okay, off camera I'm going to change my source polarity. And by changing the source polarity, we've seen this time and time again, Changing the source polarity changes both the electromagnets and it should go in a clockwise direction. Because that changes both the electromagnets. Okay, so now we've looked at the series and we've hooked up our positive to S1 or this terminal right here. And now we've done our shunt. We put the positive to we thought was F1 and both of them were going in a clockwise direction. That's crucial now. Now we can actually label with authority S1, F1, S2, F2. And then when we go to do our cumulative compound, then those two magnetic fields will set up in the same direction. 